We have new information tonight on a drive-by shooting we first reported as breaking news last night. We are told five shots were fired at a home in the 2700 block of Thompson Drive. Jail logs show it's the address of a man charged in connection with last month's death of a three-year-old boy. NBC 15's Ken McGrath went back to that neighborhood today. Ken joins us now. What'd you find out, Ken? Well, a homeowner that I spoke with today, he tells me that he's lived in this neighborhood for 41 years. And what happened last night put everyone on edge. It's a sad world out there when we got people, you know, getting shot up. The man who talked to us does not want to be identified. Just sitting at the house and in the living room and hood, some shot. He said he heard five to six shots. What did you do after you heard that? Came out the door and went over there and asked her was she all right. She is the mother of Abraham Hatch. Hatch is charged with capital murder in the death of three-year-old Tyron Edwards. His girlfriend, little Tyron's mom, has been charged with felony murder. The neighbor says Hatch's mother heard the shots but didn't know at the time that her home was the target. She went to the bathroom and she didn't know anything about it till later on. The shooting came hours after Hatch appeared in court for a preliminary hearing in connection with the murder case. The autopsy report showed that Tyron Edwards died from blunt force trauma to the head. According to the police report, one of the paramedics noted the three-year-old had bruises all over his body. MPD says that Tyron appeared to be abused over a period of time. He passed away on August 11th. As for the shots fired into the home, no arrests have been made. The Mobile Police Department is continuing to investigate the shooting as they interview neighbors and look through home security cameras for potential clues. Now at this hour, the shooter is still on the loose. And if you have any information whatsoever that can help detectives, uh, you're asked to contact the Mobile Police Department. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Ken McGrath, NBC 15 News.